So we're here today to talk about this concept of synthesis. You know, um, I think when I first uh, became a musician, the last thing that I thought of doing was turning knobs and making relatively unpleasing sounds to the human ear into something that I would actually, as a musician, think was really good. Actually, as I came into this realm, I think I had a lot of prejudices into it because I'm coming into the world of music from a standpoint of I've been trained uh, to sit down at an instrument and my musicality is expressed in the process of playing that instrument. Uh, synthesis is different. So this is a whole different world. And really, as I approached this arena and what I kind of want to begin to share with you about how to approach this as a, as a new art form or, or a developing art form is instead of being a musician that is prepared to sit down at a formulated instrument like a piano or a guitar, uh, synthesis really means that you get to kind of take on the role of the instrument creator. You get to actually imagine sounds or build sounds or recreate sounds that you've heard in this digital world. And, and at first for me that was a very intimidating thing because I really thought that was really for the high tech person. I thought, uh, you know, there are people who design websites and spend all their day looking at colors and palettes and fonts and there's people who design pal uh, websites that they go and they design code all day. And I thought that's kind of what synthesis was, that it wasn't really musicians doing it, it was tech heads and people that were a lot smarter than me. Well, I had to, through my own process of discovery, uh, learn about my own pro uh, prejudices and in many cases shed them to kind of come to the table from a neutral standpoint of if this is, if this is something that uh, would be valuable to me in my development, then I would certainly want to embrace it. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. So as we go through this concept that we're going to be talking about, synthesis, I want you to kind of let go of some of your misgivings of, this isn't for me, I could never learn how to do this, this is so complicated. Uh, because honestly, there's a lot of terminology when we talk about synthesizers that really just goes over most of our heads. We've got things like oscillators, filters, modulators, LFOs, envelopes, the list goes on and on, notch filters, peak filters. What are we even talking about? It sounds like physics. And to some degree, it kind of it kind of is. But we're gonna take a very simplistic approach when we talk about synthesis. So let's just talk about synthesis as a as a concept. Um, you know, if you remember back in your college days or your high school days, um, one of the biggest things that was uh, emphasized in the process of learning was uh, reading and comprehension. Well, I was never a very good reader. So I'm going to take that reading point and I'm going to just say receive. It's really good to receive information because sometimes you might be a good visual learner. I'm a good visual audio, audio learner as opposed to reading something on a page and retaining. But the key here is, is that in order to be a synthesizer, in order to be, a, to, in order to be able to get into this realm of synthesis, whether it's designing sounds or any sort of synthesis, you got to take in some information. You got to learn how to receive the information. Uh, and, and in receiving, not just take it in, but you gotta be able to comprehend it. You have to understand what you've just taken. So hopefully in the process here, I'll be able to give you something that you can receive, and hopefully in through the process, you can actually gain your own understanding. And when you have reading or receiving and comprehension, at that point, you should be able to summarize and be able to group everything down to its kind of basic components to give you a fundamental understanding of the thing. Uh, and once you've done that, then you can get into a realm uh, of analysis to actually break things apart and say, why is this this way? Why can't it be this way? And then you're actually, in the process of doing this, you're actually elevating your, your, your thinking and you're, you're basically growing to a higher state of thinking to where you get to the highest level of thinking that there is, which is synthesis. And of course, we're here today to talk about synthesis as it relates to uh, the sound world and the electronic music world and and things like that but synthesis in the more general terms is really getting yourself to the place where you have exercised your mind enough to embrace uh, new ideas and new creations and new designs and things that frankly don't exist or won't exist unless you bring them into the world 
It's the highest level of thinking. It's something that I want to encourage all of us to do. It's what I had to encourage myself to do because I really believe it's in whatever area that we're working. It's the way God's created us to be. He created us and he also created us to create. So I want to stir up some of your creative energies. I want to stir up some of those things inside of you that maybe have gone dormant. Uh, but I want you to know that every single one of you has a creative side inside of you to be able to not just be creative, but to create, to build, you know? So what this means for us as musicians is that we no longer have to accept what somebody else defines for us. And in the music world, that's called, a, like in the, in the keyboard, keys world, that's called a preset or a patch. Somebody else designs a sound that we have to make and turn into music. And that's kind of the world that I lived in for years, is you make the sound, as long as it was a good patch, I can play it and make it musical. We get to kind of transcend beyond that and actually say, I'm going to now take on the role of authoring, creating. And it's a really exciting process. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, so let's just kind of start from the very top down and we'll take this journey together as we discover this, this world of synthesis.